Hey guys, personal development day 22, driving to work. Shouldn't be driving, but um, I just want to talk about a little bit of exercise physiology because this past week I went through a lot of things, different things in the, in the normal flow, and um, it triggered some aspects that made me go back into the schooling of why I went to school in the first place. And you know, I'm really appreciative to have the knowledge to be able to share this. Um, so basically, these three things we talk about stress, rest, and, you know, and then some of the physiology and differences between uh, muscle soreness and lactic acid. So basically, to start with the lactic acid, and that means literally, usually means that you just don't have enough fuel. People that work out, um, you're going in hard, and you, you know, the whole concept is to lose weight. So what do you do? You don't eat. You know, that's the typical. But what you don't realize is that the body has to have fuel, just like your car. It needs to have oil. You could probably get around town, but you're going to rip your engine to pieces eventually. So same thing when you don't have fuel in your body, you go through a whole hard, hardcore workout and not enough fuel. And next thing you know, hydrogen ions are, are produced and, and it basically creates the lactic acid. And that means that you don't have enough fuel and your body system just shuts down. It'll stop you literally in the middle of your workout. Your arms will drop. Now you can usually recover from that, the rebuild, endurance, strength, all that is great for that. But the importance of this video is actual rest. Um, and so the next level, one of the things that I switched, I just did 12 weeks of um, uh, anaerobic or endurance and, you know, kind of cardio type routine. And uh, I switched over to strength training. And with that, I went hard, very focused, um, less um, different exercises. So isolating it down to just two or three exercises per muscle grouping, but it's heavy weights and um, less reps of it but just going harder and muscle soreness became a factor later on in the week because I, I really overdid it with all the other things that was going on in my life that week but what muscle soreness is is called DOMS delayed onset muscle soreness and what that really is it's the micro tears in your muscle your muscle and fibers are actually tearing and so it usually settles in to be at its worst within 24 to 48 hours. Like day two, you can literally be not walking. What that is, is that you've over, you've pushed too hard in your training and um, your body is it's needing to literally recover. You need to stop and rest. So once again, the importance of rest. And the third aspect is stress. And stress doesn't always have to come in the form of negativity. It could come in positive stuff too. And this week we had a lot of positive things, but it just changed our routine. The routine of um, when I was doing my taxes and looking and reflecting on the numbers and how my year has changed. But I was up late to one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. That's not something that I was normally doing. Um, so not resting from the hard workouts. And also, you know, the wife had a different level of change with her job and, you know, supporting her there and how all, all these different emotions and stuff coming out. And the one thing about stress, what it does is it, it triggers hormones. And that hormone main one is cortisol. And what that does is it kind of has this effect of like, you know, it, it makes your body at a, a state where like a dog is chasing you. And... You want to use, your body gets gives this extra boost of energy, but you want to use that energy because it's you know to burn, and and it's usually because you're doing something extraordinary. But a lot of times stress triggers all this, and we're not doing anything extraordinary. And what happens? The body recognizes it as you know, uh, okay, I don't know what to do with this, so let me store it, and we basically end up you know creating fat stores. So stress can happen just by being positive too you know, but simply just doing too much going and going and going and going and not stopping and not taking a moment to eat right getting off schedule so we had a mixture of all three of those things happen and my body just stopped it got to the point i was so sore i was emotionally drained in a positive way and and, and it just really shut me down and i wanted to use some of the exercise it made me go back to some of the schooling of exercise physiology and the why factors and how important rest really is to the body. You know, just like, you know, why do we eat every two to three hours? Well, that's because protein only lasts that long in your body. You need to replenish it. So those are the why factors. So basically, you know, I had a great week, but I had to stop yesterday and Saturday because I could barely walk. And my whole body was literally just shutting down. And the importance of having proper rest is just as important as going hard. 
you know, you can rest and don't, you don't have to stop. You don't have to give up everything, but do understand that your body must take the time to replenish itself naturally. And sometimes you just have to give it a break. Um, so a lot of people can feel bad about that by giving a break like it's wrong, but you can actually hurt yourself and do more damage if you don't get proper rest. So my whole message today is about just, you know, listening to your body and understanding that rest is okay. You don't have to stop forever, but, you know, do give it a chance because today I feel ready to go back and do round two of this strength training. So uh, listen to your body, take care of yourself, you know, keep your stress levels in check and um, fuel up you know, before and after. So hopefully that's helpful, a little science for you. All right, day 22. See you tomorrow.